Hi sis, am I audible enough? I'm sure I'm audible enough. So people are gonna join us now. Now let me just request you. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> Hi, how's it? <laughs> John, are you clean up beautifully, but therefore. No, for sure, man. I had to look the part for you. I'll say, I'm say. Yeah, nyawong, nyawong. You look amazing as well. You look amazing as well. Thank you. I love you, the. I must. Yeah, I love the library behind you. You know, I'm a reader. You know that about me. So. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I try to to keep stimulated in these times. You know. <laughs> no, for sure. We thought it up. There's no any better way to do it than that. Hey. So Tini Puti, so Tini, how was your day? Yeah, my day was awesome. My day was good. It was just like it was busy but productive. At least that's what yeah. I. That's what I. Th yeah, I think that's a beautiful thing. I yes. think that's a beautiful thing. How was yours? How was yours? How was my day? As an entrepreneur, you know, no two days are the same. Um, good days, bad days. Good hours, bad hours. Um, eating way too much. <laughs> um, 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 yeah. You know what? Uh, you know what? But at the end of the day, like I, I really just want to try and remain as positive as as we possibly can, and just try to get through lunchtime, breakfast, supper, and just take take it systematically like that. Or else it it really gets too much. So I just get through breakfast, get through lunch, get through dinner, and then the day is done. Love that. I love that. I love that. Like, because of, if there's one thing that, uh, that strikes me about you, it is that you are, like, you are able to maintain this energy, like, throughout, and I don't have a cookie clue how you do it. <laughs> Everybody asks me that. Mama Laputi, I, I, yes, I do have a lot of energy, but I find myself having moments of rest and recovery and recharging and rejuvenation. That's very important. And I'm a go-getter, I as I'm Londo. Um, but yeah. you have to uh, refill the cup. You can't give to the world what you don't have, you know? And burnout is Love real. That. My man, Love that. Burnout is real. I've been there. I know too many women and people who have been there. So I, I'm not trying to uh, be in a hospital bed and be of no use to anybody because I love what I do so much. Mm. And I think the society here to eat, you know, go, go, go and never rest. You know what I mean? And, and, and that is a lie. You know what I mean? Rest and sleep are a part of the revolution, if not more important. Love that I love that I love I love that so much. So before let like let me give you like a little bit of a background. Before I started I started with this live, I spoke with my mom and then uh, I'm like, Mom, I'm gonna be having an interview with uh with Subin Boy and then she's like, Subin Boy, who's with Subin Boy? And she like she couldn't get one she couldn't add one and two together and I said, No, um Nandipa she's like, Oh Nandipa, wow oh, no. you're gonna be talking with Nandipa <laughs> How many people call you Nantipa? <laughs> but, but you know what? I don't mind that. I mean, gee whiz. Yeah. If, if, if yeah. that's the level of love and uh, a remembrance that I've got from my people, it's a blessing. I, 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 I can live with that. Yeah. I'm down with that. I'm happy with that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You, you, you know, you can't with that. You, you know, you want to move on to the next role. You want to be remembered. You want to leave an imprint in, in, in people's lives. And if that's the journey and the catalyst that has, and not by accident, has actually created a foundation for my life's work, so be it. I take it. I accept it. I receive. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much. So here's the thing. Like, this is how I would like us to start, right? And then I'm going to start, like, from a point whereby, uh, like, from a point of the thing, uh, from the things that I appreciate about you. One, it is that you are an actress. You are, I always say that, like, she's a multi-talented person. Uh, you're an actress. You, you've emceed so many events. You have facilitated so many programs. Uh, you are a philanthropist. You are a mother to so many kids out there in, like, in the country, so to say. So you're doing so many things. You are a scholar. You're an academic. Uh, you're an entrepreneur. How do you do all of these things? I manage my energy, as we talked about in the beginning. I really, I, you know, I, I thought it was managing about managing energy, time. Okay. 
it's not about energy uh, managing your time it's about managing your energy you know Love this. yes Love yes this. because i don't believe that i should be boxing a lot of people have asked me this but uh, why can't you be a master at one you know i i i, I not so much. <laughs> and you know what it's it, 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 we're all individuals and we come into life what we come with and we take out of it what we want to leave with and not put say i'm a lifelong learner and i'm a go getter i like to be what the action is the tanda bandu and i love taking risks and i and i love a sense of accomplishment so by god's grace if that means i give my best to the things that excite me the things that i'm passionate about the things that i will stand up to the things that i will fight for what it means those those means and when i and you know what i've come from a place where yes i've had my my fingers in a lot of pies and some of those pies have been released from my life but the things that mm. are still in my life haven't come overnight but as is in those bonai the things that you see right now i've been planting those seeds for 15 years so don't wow. tell me or people don't wow. tell me about the kutelo zenze zindo kutala ndazi zenze zindo but you know what i mean and i think that it's only revealing and only blooming 15 years down the line but i sowed those seeds over decades ago you know and now i'm bearing the fruit and I, i and i'm that kind of person i will wait 30 years until i bear that fruit because i'm committed to what i've started and i commit to finish it wow sure <laughs> i love like i love that like i love like i love what you're saying because of what you're like what you're saying is that now um there is that like there is a beauty of loving what you do uh, and and then that's what i'm getting from uh, from what you're saying this beauty in in loving what you do number one number two it is that there is there is something about like pouring all yourself into something when you're doing it so that yeah. you don't just do it like you know from a facade like a uh, standpoint so to say Absolutely. so you give your whole self into it yeah mamela but if you don't put your whole heart into it if you don't go and and play small you're not going to last the long haul i was in last for 15 years which i'm only just beginning to do the benefits <laughs> Because you're going to you're going to lose interest. You're going to fuck it. Firstly, you're going to lose energy. You're going to be distracted. You're going to lose interest and people will see that. And that's why people say why are you dabbling in so much? I'm not dabbling. These are long-term investments that I've sown into for a very long time. And we're complex human beings. So why can't the love of the things that I do be complex? But I always find one thing but step up it all mm-hmm. has a uh, it, it's there's a, a a commonality that is sown through everything that i do and that yeah. is, uh, and that is empowerment mhm mhm love that oppo- love that opportunity mhm mhm liberation ah oh. freedom of expression and equity that's the running thread in everything that i do i love that i love this so much and then if you remember i'm not sure if you remember this but the first time i saw you in person the first time i saw you in person uh it was at gibbs it was at yes. gibbs yeah yeah what, it was at gibbs what was i doing there oh my gosh <laughs> like uh so it is at gibbs they're not selling cars or they're not selling shoes so they are it's it's an academic institution so you're doing what people do at gibbs which is which is like uh like you know uh of uh, uh studying and stuff so but what what was happening i remember um uh, one of our mutual friend uvusi tembekwayo she he was having a was having a talk about his uh the magna carta the magna carta book yeah and then you and then you were there that's when i first yes. met you and then are uh, and then what i i'm like is that nandipa <laughs> and then yeah uh, and then we met there and then after then i started to follow you in, on all your social media platforms and then uh so which means that my uh, like me being attracted to you or you attracting me so to say it was because of your philanthropic work one uh, two uh, like most of the stuff that you've done in the social development space because of that's the space that i'm so passionate about and i've seen you doing so much work in that space do you do you perhaps know why exactly you are gravitating towards that space the social development space where you are 
imparting so much knowledge and, and, and encouragement to youngsters? I, I, I think that it doesn't happen with like a magic boom. Ah, it, ah. it, 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 it's growth and it builds on something else. And that's why people calling me Unandi, but I don't mind. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something, Butsepo. That was for the foundation of my life's work. At the core of it mm. all, I'll always be an activist. At the core of it all, I'll always be an HIV advocate. You know what I mean? And mm. that was, what, 20 years ago? And I'm still fighting. I'm still seeing my peers doing it now. You know what I mean? And social development, social enterprise, education and training, mentorship, opportunities, education, mm. self-education, all came as a byproduct of going on that journey. So, yes, yeah. I'm building other people, but at the same time, they are cooler myself. I'm growing, mm. I'm learning, mm. I'm, I'm evolving, I'm expanding, I'm... I, 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 I'm, I'm being more courageous. I've been burnt. I'm learning lessons. And you've got to. That's the beauty of the journey. That's the, that's the grit and the grace of the journey. You know what I mean? And and, mm -hmm. and for me, if anything that I can say about myself, the tandy zindo. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm too curious. And I was like that in a child, and it's got me to a lot of trouble, obviously. Sure, you know, the, sure. the flip side of it. But the good side of it, I, I'm curious. I've always, I, I have a sense of awe, and I have a sense of wonder, and I always want to know more about the things that uh, I, 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 I'm inquisitive about. And I, and I think that's a gr great character trait for any young person, especially in these hard times that we're living in, because I found myself mm. in a, in, at a point in lockdown thanking my lucky stars that I didn't just do one thing in Bomin Bam because mm, I think oh, man. because I would have been in a very, very, very difficult economic and financial position as most South Africans are. But because I diversified mm. at, at, as a young professional, okay. now I, 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 I can reach out into those skill sets and capabilities and capacities and use them when I need them most when my main source of income, the economy has collapsed as an actor, as a gay economist. So I use mm -hmm. those capabilities and capacities of the skill sets that I've, that I've honed in the last 10 years. And they've helped me in these really tough times where, where jobs are scarce and people are losing their, 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 their work. Wow, wow, wow. That's, like, that's quite a beautiful thing because, what, like, because one, of the, one, of the, one of the most difficult things uh, that people have I found that are finding themselves in it is that they are locked inside a skill set that is not uh serving the current you know um, uh, situations so to say because of you are relevant when your skill set or when whatever that you are doing can serve uh you know like like in the current uh, uh situations that the world is facing and then i think like for you to diversify in that way man i don't know if you are like if you had a foresight of seeing the things that might happen in the future, or it was just a matter of you just wanted to do as much as you can uh, with what you had? Beautiful what question. What do you think it Let was? You, beautiful question. Let me tell you something. It wasn't foresight. It was because maybe that car shop when you miss savings, and I was forced to. It wasn't b yeah. by, by choice. It was a position where I was put uncomfortable, and I was forced to diversify from being an 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 actress, mm -hmm. knowing that my heart and my first love and my passion will always be a, a, a being on a set. But because uh, the, the, the scripts didn't come in as fast and hard enough, um, um, one job didn't lead to another, uh, to another as consistently mm. as I liked to. I was forced to learn other skill sets. And that's why I say to young people all the time, that, diversify. Because you know what? When times are good, that's, that's not the test of character. It's when times are bad. That's when true character comes out. And that is what I've noticed now that, thank goodness, I did not say to myself, is be in front of the camera. And that is because it didn't work out in some, in some soapies. It didn't work out on some film sets. Um, I, I, I wasn't employed in the acting space consecutively. So I had to do other things. And you know what? It's the best thing that ever happened to me. So the lesson learned here, oh. good example, is... Wow, man. 
out of adversity, when you are thrown out of a moving car, you mm -hmm. will find yourself at your lowest. But that yeah. is when y y y your capabilities will shine. You are forced. Mm -hmm. You are forced into situations mm -hmm. that you would never have done um, if life had been good, if life had been oh so shiny. You know, it's through the storms that were tested. And it's through those, those tough times are the great parts of my story and of my journey, baby. Mm, I, loved, I, I loved it so much because, you know, like in most of, uh, like, like I have my mentorship program, as you are aware, uh, where I'm mentoring, like I'm mentoring uh, like youth and kids and then other people from different walks of life. And yeah. one of the main thing, one of the main thing that I'm teaching them or trying to inculcate in them is that, is to find the gift in the pain to say Beautiful. whatever you're going through there is something there is something worthwhile that is actually encapsulated inside that painful experience you know what i mean and then i said if you if we have a like a very good perspective on what is happening to us we'll find out that pain actually introduces us to our strengths that we did not know before before we encountered that specific difficult uh, problem so to say and then I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you are, you are also saying that whatever that we are going through, when you are thrown out of a moving car, just ask yourself exactly what is it that God knows that it is in you that can be an instrument to whatever that is happening at that specific point in time. And then if you let that moment pass, you will lose an opportunity to find out about, you know, like about certain, certain critical, powerful tools that you have. And then, um, so I'm not really sure exactly how we can help people to realize that what's happening to them is happening because of there is something in them that will actually become a solution. It's an opportunity for them to become more and then to be of service to their situation, so to say. The situation is not there to destroy necessarily. It is there to introduce you to certain things that are important. Beautiful. I'm not sure. Yeah. So I'm not sure with you. Uh, do you have a, like a like a like a step by step kind of a process where you say what is this thing teaching me or you just found yourself like you know like things unfolding as time went on. Things unfolding, dude. Listen, I'm a messy person. Yeah. I, 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 it's sure. it, 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 it's chaos. It's storm. That's my personality. That's the fire uh, inside sure. of me. I, I, and as funny thing about, do you know what I mean? Don't put but some people like the safe road. They like basics, day-to-day, -day, the norm. Mm. Uh, mm. They, they, they like uh, uh, um, uh, what you see is what you get and retrieving that. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong yeah, with that. Yeah. And, I always tell to, and I always say to people, this is my story. This is how sure. I see the world. As funny as I can't say to mm -hmm. people or young people, look, this is the way to do things. Some people, we all want different things in our life. We all are different places in our life. But yeah, my yeah. truth, and it's about the power of our truths. My truth and what I've seen is true for me. And maybe it may be true for the next person. Is that growth never comes out of a comfort zone. Your scars oh. and your heartbreaks. Love that. Love it. But your scars and your heartbreaks are the best part of your story. And you've got to own that. But it's a journey and it's a process. And I ain't take it overnight. So that's where mm. perseverance and tenacity and resilience comes into the picture. And what happens in a crisis is that you will see people for who they are. Always. Mm -hmm. You will mm -hmm. see the men from the women. You will see the boys from the girls. And you will see the people who have learned through adversity and the people who will never rise from adversity. I love sports and mm. I, love yeah. I love sports and I'm an athlete. And they always say that champions are not born out of success. Champions are born out of trials and tribulations and rock bottom. And, I'm, and that's a true testimony of that. Any superstar sports athlete will tell you that the biggest lessons have been learned through not them they're winning the games or the trophies or the championships. It's through the hardcore lessons that we've all learned, that we're not going to make those same mistakes again. And that's where truth growth comes from. And nobody can take that away from you. And that's what I love. That owning your shit, 
owning that power yeah. and, yeah. and, and, and wearing that as, a, as, as your armor for the future. But that doesn't make, make us have to be hardcore people that are, have hearts of stone. You know what I mean? I think that should be, mm. uh, 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 that gives us a lot of grace and a lot of wisdom and a lot of humility because we've, we, we, we've mm. got the stars on us and we know what it takes to, 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 to I, I know what it takes to be where I'm at right now, Putty. Easy come, yeah. easy go. Love that. Love that. Love that. So one thing that people don't know about you is something that I did not know before I actually uh, got to engage with you is how humble you are. You are so humble. Like, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. Uh, like, like in a sense that, uh, you know, like, let me put it this way. You are one person that, uh, uh, like that I never thought, never thought, even went to me uh, like 10 or 15, 20 years ago and told me that one day I'll be having an interview with, uh, you know, with one of the most celebrated people in the country. Like, I'll, like, like I'll, I was going to laugh at you. <laughs> I was going to laugh at you, you know what I mean? And then, but however, like after speaking with you and I realized how humble you are, where you would like where you pick up a phone and call me and say, "Hey, uh, Tepo, by the way, man, I'm sorry, I'm I'm not gonna make it for this meeting. Uh, can we schedule? Can we do this? Like respecting my time. And then though I thought like you are this person who's up there, and then I'm like, not that I'm taking myself uh, uh, down or anything, uh, but you know, but uh, like I've always been looking up, like you know, up to people like yourself, and then having this utmost respect that I have for you. But however, this person humbles herself and then talks to me like I'm happier. And like that blows my mind and I don't know how you do that because, you know, uh, and I'm saying this with utmost respect, not everybody is able to do that. So how are you remaining grounded like that? What's grounding you that way? I never want to be yeah. in a position that I wouldn't want, wouldn't want to put be put in by somebody else. What I'm saying, Budi, mm. I've seen mm. good people do bad things, and I've seen bad people do good mm. things. And Eksala mm. Budi, for me, is that you never know in life, Budi. La Mundo that you treated like dirt. It, and, and, and it's things like, it, it takes situations like this like e covid for us to realize those things matter in life those are the things that matter in life is how you treat people mm. the manner mm. in which you treat abantu because in an instant like the instant that we are in everything changes and we're all on the same level mm. and now mm. we're all fighting mm. something together and and you know what firstly i'm not gonna lie it's my upbringing as well. I come from very yeah, humble yeah, beginnings. Yeah. Not, mm -hmm, I, I was mm -hmm. never sp spoon-fed. My parents were very hard workers, like everybody's parents were. But I'm in an industry that celebrates treating people like shit. I'm in an industry where people do not respect one another. I'm in an industry where people are backstabbing <laughs> each other for short-term monetary and fame and mm -hmm. gain. And for me, mm -hmm. once again, I bring it back to the personal. It is your yam. My spirit is not okay with that. And, yeah, that yeah. and I have to be authentic. Not to say that, listen, I understand uh, 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 levels of professionalism, levels mm -hmm, of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of hierarchy in people and places and what they've done and what they've accomplished in life. But, Oksalayo, I will never treat office of cleaner e toilets with any less respect yeah. than I do my CEO. Firstly, I wouldn't want that to me. And Zangina Kuluswanjala, I was never brought up like that. And that for me, mm -hmm. and that for me is a spotlight difference of a character trait of the people I want around me or the people I don't want around me. Because I think mm. I think that says a lot about somebody, about the way you treat the different types of people. And if you treat people the same, it says a lot about a person. And being somebody who's very much uh, I'm, I'm tuned into developing young entrepreneurs into CEOs. I think it's a very great test and tool to see uh, um, in different uh, um, environments and in different spaces and how they handle themselves and how they handle other people. 
I love that. I love that show. Yeah, like you, like you got me very emotional. I don't want to lie. Uh, just that, like, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm very, I'm very much experienced in, in holding my tears. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, so that's the thing. So, but it got me very emotional because, like, I've been in situations whereby I'll see people treating people like dirt, and then I have, I've been blessed enough to, to, to be in, like, to have titles and positions whereby. I would have like all the people who are as old as my mom reporting to me, right? And then I was always approaching it with the thing of like, like my parents raised me in a way that any person who's older than you, like who's old enough to be your mother, they are your mother. Irrespective of whether we're now like you are a CEO or a director of what, what, or a head of what, what, they are your mother, you know? And then, uh, but I'll see other people who are my peers treating those like uh, the the old the, like the older stuff, as if like you know like as if they are like they are like in Tangazab, you know what I mean? Like they are like of their age, and I just couldn't get it. I'm like, how like how do you do that? There's always even though there is a level of seniority in terms of like the hierarchy of of uh, uh like of your of your corporate so on and so forth, but there is always a way to always approach these things in a respectful manner. I believe that there is always a way. You know what I mean? There's always a way to, like when a person who reports to you is older than you, to go to them and, and then talk to them in a way that shows that you are respecting them. You are not belittling them, so to say. You know, uh, and then so that's why it got me so emotional because of I'll be like, it, it will break my teeth every, all the time when I'll see people treating people that way. You know, so yeah, that's why I was saying emotional. In, in, in the same breath, I'm going to be honest because, you know, guys, we're not here to play games, you know. I, I have to be honest with you. Yeah. Yes, as a Bandu Bamiyama, as Africans, I will always treat my elders with respect. But in a working environment or in a solution or problem-solving environment or in an entrepreneurial environment, um, there is a point whereby I can treat you with respect, but uh, I, I might not agree with the way you work, with the way you run yes. things and the way you handle things. Yes. And I think that's a very yes. fine line because just because I respect you doesn't mean... I, I'm a walk over because of your age and because of your yes. age. Yes. I, I, I will voice my point of view. I will deliver the work that I need to work. And if I do not agree with you, I will definitely make that known mm -hmm. to you. But do not think that just because that uh, I'm a walk over. And that yes. is a very fine line. And I think that takes a lot of emotional intelligence. And a lot mm -hmm. of uh, 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 really being uh, uh, conscious about the, the words you're saying, but being very eloquent in the fact that um, uh, uh, um, what you're speaking is truth, what you're speaking is valid, but still with a tone of complete sincerity, but complete authority. Mm -hmm. of yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, bon? So, and I think sometimes Sioyika, as young women, when we're working in these spaces whereby oh, oh, our bosses are these elderly black men, and they know that there is that in our tradition and our culture. So it is about self-reflection and self-introspection and maturity. It just doesn't come just, it doesn't come. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, I think we have to mm -hmm. have walked um, a, a path in a work environment and yourself. To be able to stand up and mm -hmm. say what's right and wrong and what's um, uh, uh, working for you in a working environment, regardless of who your bosses are or your, or, or your teammates yeah. are that are older mm -hmm. and of the same generation, mm -hmm. uh, not of some, the same generation. Mm -hmm. Correct. I love that. Like, I'll, yeah, no, for sure. I love that because of what, what would happen. Like for me, what worked for me is that thing of playing the ball, not the men, you know? Yes, Because if yes. you're playing the more, yeah, exactly. So that... You don't make things personal. You make things about Beautiful. what the person did exactly. Beautiful. So that has always worked for me. So yeah. So there are people who are actually agreeing to you. So before I we see, attend, I see. I see. Hi everyone. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so somebody saying that hi, Phoebe. Always knew that you'd go places. You are smart and beautiful woman. I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. Uh, so yeah. So, Sis Phoebe, uh, I think our 30 minutes, like we've hit our 30 minutes like it went so quick, to be honest. <laughs> Let's that do was it again. Really, really Let's quick. do it again. No, definitely. Uh, so, this was a beautiful thing. And then I love the fact that you, um, you know, you blessed us with your presence. Thank you so much. I can't thank you more. Uh, you're so awesome. You're so awesome. I'm you're so, so awesome. happy. 
I'm so happy we spent this half an hour together. Let's keep up the great work. I love the fact yeah. that you're always interested in the work that I do. And you know what I believe, Butsepo? We have to collaborate and we have to co-create, you know, especially yeah. in times of now and for forever. And it's about learning to work with each other and learning to work mm -hmm. with new people. I love, love, love working with people. Stand up, man. To anyone who knows me, even from a distance, yeah. you know that I have time for people. You know what I mean? But I'm all about solutions and I'm all about problem solving and I get excited about strategy. So I hope in our next session, we can really uh, do something cool and exciting. Um, yeah, and from yeah. me, mwah, 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 mwah. hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so before, just before, just before you go, can you please tell people what is your superpower, the number one quality that you love about yourself that you think is responsible for most of the things that it, like that you have achieved. I know there are, there are many, but which ones then are the most for you? That's a great question. Yeah. Compassion. A superpower. If you are a superhero, okay, cool. So then, if you are if you are a superhero like a Spider Man, like his Spider Webs are his things, and then you will be compassion will be your your weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but for me, that, that, you know why I love say that? that? I mean, there's a lot. I would. Feel, I could say, um, mm. yeah. No, for um, sure, there's a lot, yeah. Yeah, there, there, are, there are a lot, but do you know why I chose that? Is because I feel other people's, uh, uh, what do they say? Uh, uh, um, I, I, I feel, I'm a feeler. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and I can put myself in another, another person's shoes. Love that, love that. Thank you so much. Compassion, 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 compassion. I love you so much, Sisi. I love you all. <laughs> Cheers. Mwah. Have a beautiful Mwah. one. Mm. Stay warm, everybody. Stay warm. <laughs> Ta-ta. Ta-ta. <laughs>